Hi! Today I got this idea of trying a base technique for like the face makeup. I was thinking how I usually apply for example foundation for contouring. I got this idea of um, not layering as many products on my face. For example I apply foundation and then the contour on top and then the blush on top and I was like what if I try to use one layer on my entire face. So basically I'm going to apply foundation where I need to apply foundation, like uh, excluding the sides of my face where I'm applying the contour. I'm just going to apply the contour here without any foundation on top and the concealer underneath my eyes again without foundation underneath even though I don't usually apply uh, foundation around my eye area. We're going to make it look as natural as I possibly can. So basically I will be applying only one layer on my entire skin and hopefully we'll get the most natural looking base ever. And if this is a fail, we're just testing things out, so... I think this will work, especially if you don't necessarily need or want to have full coverage all over your skin. Like, for example, around this area, I'm just going to apply blush. So, blush does not have coverage. And also, um, my contour does have a little bit of coverage since I do use um, foundation. But, like, if you're trying to cover anything up uh, in those areas, this might not work. Okay, let's get into it. I do have sunscreen on my face. Uh, I don't think that I will be applying any other primer. So let's start. I'm going to apply the concealer first. Okay, so I'll be using the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. I'm in the shade 20 and I'm going to apply it here where I usually conceal and a little bit on my eyelids. I'm going to move on to the contour using my Natasha Denona Face Glow Foundation. And let's see how I'm going to apply that. I'm just going to take a, like, a concealer brush type of a thing. And I'm going to apply it underneath my cheekbones, under my jawline here, and a little bit on my uh, forehead. And a little bit of that underneath my nose. I'll be using my Fenty Cream Blush in the shade Crush on Cupid. It's this pink blush. I'm going to apply it here above the contour. I might need to re-wet this face uh, before I start blending because like, it had a lot of time to sit. I'm filming a TikTok as well, so... Okay, for foundation, I'm going to mix the Fenty Hydrating Longwear Foundation. And I'm going to mix the shade 180 with, with the shade 150. And I'm just going to apply it wherever I did not apply uh, other products. Okay, like this has been sitting on my face for a, a while and I'm going to use a setting spray to wet my face again so I will be able to blend in those products. So I'm going to start with the lightest parts. First I'm blending the concealer. I'm, just, I'm trying to use just the tip of my sponge so I don't touch the other products yet because I feel like I'm going into my blush. Okay, then the foundation. I gotta make sure to blend kind of uh, the edges so I don't have sparse areas on my face. I think I'm going to turn my sponge around and start blending the contour and the blush. I'm just doing little stamps like that and blending them both at the same time. Because why not? <laughs> The contour kind of faded. Maybe I applied too little, I don't know. Because on my forehead it's still a little bit visible, so maybe I applied the, um, too little product on my cheek. On this other side it's slightly more visible than uh, on this side. But I did not re-wet my face. Maybe I should have just let it like dryish how it was in the before spraying my face, I don't know. <laughs> but like, the finish is beautiful, it's very natural. Uh, but I do need a little bit of coverage here. We just uh, popped the pimple. Uh, I'm just going to take my concealer and do a little dot here. I think I'm going to let it dry again. Here I think I'm going to need just a tiny bit more contour. Maybe if I used my Too Faced foundation, uh, the one that I uh, sometimes use for contouring. Uh, that 
I think that would, would have been a little bit more visible because like it has a higher coverage than this Natasha Denona one but like the finish is beautiful it's very natural I'm going to show you natural lighting as well you can apply a second coat and that second coat could be powder if you want to avoid creasing on your under eyes or if you have slightly more oily skin and you want to mattify your skin a little bit you can just go with a light coat of translucent powder hope you enjoyed this little experiment and uh, thank you so much for watching i'll see you next time bye